It like feels like I'm learning how to talk on camera again. It's it? been that long. Yeah, it will yeah. do. Feels That's awkward why you again. Need to get back into um, doing them more regularly because you don't want to be ner nervous about doing them again. But it's good to. Mm. You'll be fine. You're good. Yeah, I've got this. <laughs> okay, we're ready. I'm going to go in for it. <clears throat> Hello and welcome back to the channel. I can only apologise that it has been this long since I created a video. I've had loads going on, no excuses. It is just, life gets on top of you sometimes and there's not a lot you can do about it. But this is the start of the videos coming out thick and fast. There is gonna be regular release dates and times of each and every video so you can keep up to date with everything and you know, keep, keep up with what's going on. What has been going on though it is not good. Is she winding me up? Yeah. I'm doing a video. No thanks, Laura. Well, I'll, I'll make us some when we when we're finished. Yes, please, I'm alright, thanks. Good it was a great intro, wasn't it? Anyway, I can just edit it out. But what has been going on has not been good. Unfortunately, I and this entire household has not been able to avoid the coronavirus, and we have come down with it. <laughs> Sad times, isn't it? Really sad times. Sad times. It's, it's, it's no joke, actually. It hasn't been nice. Symptoms have been pretty, pretty bad. Breathing's been all right. I just was been aching. Um, I even felt sick. Um, was in bed for three, three days, really. Not been good. And as a result, obviously, I haven't been training. My weight, so my weight, well, when I last would have checked in and given you an update on things, my weight would have been about 14 stone. And I weighed myself this morning and I am 12 stone 8, which is pretty pretty low compared to what I normally am. So, yeah, I suffered quite badly. My training, although I haven't been updating on here, has been, it's still been happening. Sticking to the bodyweight training as I love doing and trying to learn new skills. And I've nearly, nearly got the handstand sorted, which I'll show you. Um, possibly later on in this video. If, and if you follow my Instagram, you would have seen it anyway, which if you're not following my Instagram, you should definitely go and follow my Instagram. I'll put it on the screen here. Go and check it out. And yeah, so, my, you know, I've suffered from Corona, but we're sort of over it now. Gonna ease my way back into training, so I'm not gonna go full on and start training as normal. I'm gonna slowly go back in, and what I am gonna do is I'm gonna introduce something new into my, um, I'm not gonna call it workout routine, into my daily routine, which is going to be stretching and yoga, or, you know, I'm gonna kinda of do one in the same. Uh, so we did a yoga session this morning, which I'll put a quick time lapse on the screen now, and the reason behind me wanting to do it is basically because I went to put a pair of socks on the other day and realized that I struggled to bend down to put on a pair of socks. I mean, that's a problem. I'm 26 years old and I struggle to put socks on. So realize I need to be a lot more flexible, a lot more mobile, and you know, I hunch over a laptop for 80% of my day with what I do for work. So I really need to make sure that I'm keeping myself as flexible as possible to stop with the back pain, with any future problems that I might be causing. Because let's be honest, resistance training is not a healthy thing to do. Someone who is big and muscular, a bodybuilder, you know, when a bodybuilder steps on stage, they are not in a healthy state. Just because they look amazing doesn't mean that they're in a healthy state. So I'm thinking that I should probably do a few things in order to make sure that I prolong my ability to, to stay healthy and to, to train, really. Um, so yeah, gonna start doing a lot more yoga. I'm awful at it, as you've probably seen from the time lapse, really bad, but I'm hoping I'm gonna get much better and start to see some real benefits um, from it very, very quickly. Um, another thing I'm looking to do is I am going to do a lot more running now. Me and Amber, who no one had seen Amber on the channel before, but she sat in the background, probably doesn't want to be in the video, she's just waved a little hand. So Amber loves, absolutely loves running, and therefore I now love running. <laughs> so, we're gonna start, well, we, ha we already do run quite a bit together. 
So that is going to be another thing that I'm just adding into my uh, routine in order to keep me healthier really. Not focusing so much on the appearance that the um, majority of my training is focusing on, um, you know, building muscle and getting the look that I want. Uh, it's actually going to be focusing more on being healthy, being fit um, and helping with overall performance of everything. So, you know, if you want to be better at work, then it helps to be healthier, to, to, to run, to do some sort of cardiovascular exercise. It helps with um, cognitive function, all that sort of thing. There's loads of health benefits of just getting out and moving rather than just picking up weights or doing push-ups, you know. So um, that is uh, definitely a big focus of mine. And while I'm on that topic, I'm trying to find a new pair of running trainers and I'm struggling to find a pair that I genuinely want. So if you could do me a favour and jump down into the comments and let me know what you think I should get for running trainers. It can be anything, don't worry about price at the moment, although the cheaper the better, because I'm only human. Um, but yeah, jump in the comments and let me know what you think on what running trainers you think I should get. All right, so as you probably gathered, this video is more of an update as to what's to come with future content, because I've been away for so long, I feel like I need to give you a bit of an update and then promise to deliver because, you know, that's what you should be doing. Anyway, oh, sister just walked in. Hey, you want it to be outside! <laughs> anyway, food content. That is something I want to do a lot more of. I know that people will always recommend to have things like chicken, rice. I'm guilty of it. Boring foods that seem to hit your macros. But they don't have to be boring and this is where also Amber steps in because she is pretty damn good at cooking and I'm not very good at cooking. But you know, we're going to get there. Hopefully we'll get there together. So tonight we're going to have a very high protein, low calorie meal, which, you know, if you're trying to build a good body, that's exactly what you want. So what we've got coming up is we got, we got salmon, which ticks all the boxes when it comes to health. Lovely stuff. High protein, low calorie, good fats, etc, etc. We've then got little mini cabbages, or as some people like to call them, Brussels sprouts. Um, which aren't always, you know, up there with the flavour that everybody wants. But, we've got a little twist. We're going to be putting everything in teriyaki sauce. And baking it. So, it, it, I mean, how long is it going to take us to make it? Literally 20 minutes. 20 minutes. It's going to take us 20 Ooh. minutes. So it even ticks the time scale as well. Now, I actually don't know what the, the um, teriyaki sauce is like when it comes to um, being healthy, but I mean, in 100 mils, which you're not going to eat 100 mils of it, healthy. is 262 calories, so even that's low. And I mean, everything else is pretty low. I mean, yeah, it's just, it's a fairly, fairly friendly sauce, I'd say. But anyway, it's going to take us a few minutes to prepare the Brussels sprouts, throw it all in the oven, and then we wait. Easy. So yeah, let's check in once it's all done. finished product nice and easy it doesn't take long at all I'll put the uh, macros and the ingredients everything on the screen just added a pack of microwave rice to it and there you have it so more food content is incoming with the new content that is incoming um, yeah I'm gonna go and eat this now and then I will um, sign out the video shortly and give you more of an update oh it's getting cold now nights are drawing in it gets dark in the UK about like about like half four so anyway I'm outside I'm gonna do some training I just wanted to talk to you about what my training is gonna consist of in the upcoming content etc from now on in so I want to still bring you what I enjoy doing which is making sure that I'm not a one-trick pony I enjoy all different kinds of training whether it be cardiovascular whether it be bodybuilding um, at the moment I'm focusing quite a bit on um, my body weight training so there's a few skills that I want to learn such as the hand sand which I've almost got um, front lever things like that so I want to bring you everything that I enjoy doing um, and you know make sure that I'm not a one-trick pony as I say there's going to be complete variety of all different kinds of things trial and error in a lot of areas as well um, some things may work some things may not work but we're going to give it a go and hopefully the content will um, either inspire you or advise you to stay clear of maybe things that aren't going to work so well. Um, 
I mean, it depends on what you want to do. But anyway, that's what my training is going to consist of. I'm not going to go into a full breakdown of my workout today. Um, I'll save that for future videos, but just wanted to kind of let you know what's in store and what's to come with the training. And um, yeah, I hope you hope you like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, jump down, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It's entirely free. So hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. But for now, let's get into a workout and um, yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is actually the first workout for me in about three, four weeks, maybe a month. Um, feeling it after Corona, it's not, uh, it's no joke that the virus. I mean, really does make you feel pretty awful. And yeah, now trying to get back into it with the breathing, it's difficult. But you know, I'm just taking it easy, just sticking to one exercise at a time, not supersetting, not doing anything crazy, staying within my comfort zone. Building my way back into it. Try, you know, obviously I want to go harder, but it would be a silly thing to do. So yeah, just trying to keep sensible and just get a nice workout. Back in, you know, feel it out again, but it's good. I'm glad I'm back, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Workout done. I swear the weather knows that I'm working out and decides to rain at the point when I uh, go outside. But workout done. Gonna be mixing up where I work out. I like the fact that my training means I can work out anywhere in the world. Don't I don't need equipment to train. So yeah, gonna be doing outside workouts, in in the house workouts, and also um, in the gym because let's be honest, the weather's cold in the UK. So. Why, why not train in the gym if I can and I've got the time? Uh, so yeah, we'll be in the gym as well, but yeah. Good to get another, well, good to get my first session back in. As I say, breathing's feeling it a little bit from, from uh, recovering from Corona, but felt good to be back out there. Didn't do anything too crazy, so we move, as they say. Right, so one final thing that I wanna share with you before I end this video and um, tell you when to expect the next one is the other thing that I'm going to be sharing with you, which is the stuff I'm reading and the stuff I'm learning. So I think that it's quite useful and I want to share all different aspects of what I'm doing, what I'm learning and you know, hopefully inspire and teach someone something. So at the moment I'm reading a book called Start With Why by a guy called Simon Sinek. He's quite... It, it, so basically what he does is he teaches people how to become better leaders and to inspire people and why would you not want to learn how to do that so I will share with you some of the findings that I've learned from it in my next video a little teaser so you want to watch it uh, and the other thing to let you know before I end this video is when to expect the next one so I'm going to be aiming to release my videos every Sunday at 6 p.m. Um, English time so whatever that is wherever you are but 6 p.m. English time um, and I want to I want to try and do more. I do want to release at least two videos a week, but with juggling it with full time job at the moment, that is difficult. So I'm going to commit to one video a week, and then hopefully build on that and add more videos as I go. But right now I can only guarantee one of one video a week. So that's all I'm going to promise. So Sunday 6 p.m. English time. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. 
Uh, especially if you've watched more than one of my videos, it means you like it, so please hit the subscribe button and then look forward to the next one. So, thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you've liked the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.